Many people in the self-improvement space make such a great deal out of reading as many books as possible. And whilst it is definitely a good idea to read, what's the bloody point in it all if you don't remember anything? Well mate, there isn't one. Average people read books for their ego's sake and so that they can get the satisfaction from saying, ah, finish another book and they don't even try to apply what they've learned to their physical lives. Is this really something the pioneers that created the world we live in today would do? I don't think so. And actually, I'm making this video just in case younger Myron stumbles across it because he f***ing needed this. He did not learn from books in the most effective way. In fact, he hardly even read books. But when he did read, he'd only read just so that he could say, ah, that's another book finished. And I completed them just for the dopamine rush that I would receive from completing them. I literally seeked approval from other people and I wanted them to think I was smart because I was reading. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, mate. And I fucking hate to admit this, but sometimes I still get caught up in this mindset. Sometimes I genuinely think that I'm above people because I read. Mate, how f is that, man? Seriously, it's so cringy. <laughs> It's so f cringy, but oh, whatever, like, I'm saying it all. Like sometimes if I'm on a train or something and I just like whip out my book and then start reading it, I'm thinking, oh God, everyone's got to be watching me here. Like thinking I'm the absolute boy because I've got a book. And it has to stop, mate. It has to stop. Realistically, nobody gives a shit if I'm reading a book or not. Like it's just, mate, honestly, it has to stop. But with all this ego shit aside, at least now I've learned how to retain the important information that I've learned. And that's exactly what I'm gonna try and tell you about in this video. But first of all, I want to talk about the importance of reading, because if you don't read as much as you know that you should, or if you don't read at all for that matter, I guarantee you often feel like you are not making the most out of your life. And trust me, I know how this feels because I have definitely felt this way in the past. And from my experiences, you probably feel quite anxious at times and feel like you're not taking the right direction with your life. So let me try and tell you this without scaring you. But basically, by not reading, you are putting yourself at a huge disadvantage in life. I'll say that again. By not reading for 30 minutes a day, which is more than a reasonable enough amount of time for a beginner, you are putting yourself at a massive disadvantage to the people that read frequently. Reading is a necessity, trust me. But by making the effort to actually retain and apply the information you have learned to real life is even more significant. But how do you go about doing this? Well, the advice I'm gonna give you is based on what I currently do, and it works extremely well for me. So basically, when you're reading, you should carry a notebook with you and some colourful pens. And basically, as you read through the book and read words that resonate with you or words that you've learned something from, you copy them down in the notebook, inside quotation marks, and write the page number next to it. And this will all be in the colour green, for example. And then from that, you draw a down arrow and in a different coloured pen, write your own interpretation of the quote that you've just written down. Because this is the part where you actually actually begin to retain the information. And I've emphasized the word begin there because there's actually a step further to this. And that is to create an online document using a project manager app such as Trello or Notion. I personally use Trello and it just does work really well for me. So I'll show you my exact setup with this. If you use Notion or something else, you have to figure out how to do the things I'm about to tell you yourself, but it shouldn't be too complicated. The most important thing for you to do is just take note of the way that I structure my folders so that you can copy them. Anyway, once you're in Trello, what you want to do is create a board specifically for reading. And within that board, create a list called lessons from reading or something like that. And then in that list, create cards with different titles of all the books that you have read. And then in the description of each of these cards, copy down your favorite notes from your notebook. Now, if you lose your notebook or want online access to your notes wherever you are, they'll be right here waiting for you. I personally aim to try and do this once every week or something like that because it forces me to reread my notes, helping me to remember everything better. And by the way, this method can really extend how long it takes to read a book. I mean, I've taken like 20 minutes, I think, before to read one page. 
but it doesn't matter, it's not a race to complete the book as quick as you can. The whole purpose of reading is to actually learn from it and to be able to use what you've learned in real life. There's literally no point in reading a book if you're just gonna forget everything the next morning and that would be a complete waste of time. So really just try to go against your brain for telling you to complete the book as quickly as you can. To grow your mindset even more, click on this video right here or click on the link in the description below. Believe you can and you're more than halfway there.